Hello, this is Cecilia Martinez, aka Cecilia Creates. I wanted to give a quick demo on a script that I wrote on how to create multiple issues from a JSON file when working with GitHub API. Uh, so this came about because I've been working on a lot of side projects and noticed that I was creating the same kind of startup issues over and over for certain stacks. And so I kind of threw it on Twitter asking for ways that I could get around this or work, you know, do something programmatically and uh, poked around the API and found an endpoint here to create an issue. So I'm going to show that here on the screen. So we're looking at <clears throat> the documentation, create an issue. So this allows you to create one issue at a time. You just essentially do a post method to the repository and you include, you know, the title, uh, body, assign these milestone labels, uh, and then you get a response that the issue was created and the location of where it was created. Uh, so obviously with this, you can only do one post at a time. You can't send uh, like a bunch of JSON at once in order to create all the, all the issues together. So in order to do that, you'd have to, it requires a script in order to iterate over that object. So uh, this is a script that I wrote. It's in Node, and I am using a uh, a pack, two packages. Uh, the first is node fetch, which allows you to do the API calls from node. Now, the other is a package called .env, and the reason I'm using it is specifically because of uh, this video, because I didn't want to share my authorization token. So if you're not familiar with environment variables in this package, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, essentially, you'll see this process.env.token. That is being pulled in from a separate .env file so that you can't see my token but it will still work, hopefully. And so what this does is I'm requiring node fetch, I'm requiring .env, and I'm setting up, uh, I'm essentially just declaring these variables because I know what I'm working with, but another option would be to take a process, you know, the argument in node. So if, for example, if you wanted to take in the username, the repo, and then what file or template you'd like to use for the issues, you could take those in as, um, as arguments in the nodes, in the node command line and process those that way. But because just for simplicity's sake, today I already have the test issues file, which is essentially just a JSON file with some test issues in here. Uh, just to give you an idea, I do have this MERN stack project issues, but I didn't want to have to create all these at once on the demo. So test issues only has three. Uh, additionally, my username in GitHub Cecilia Creates, and then the repo that I've created, which is just API tools, and it's just a test uh, repo in order to test things like this. So we're declaring our function here, create issue from JSON, and it's a function of a the file that we are requiring, the JSON file. And then essentially it's just saying, you know, for each item in that file, and this is an array, so it's iterable. Uh, for, so for each item in that array or for each issue, we're going to do a fetch, and this is using the node fetch. Uh, we're going to do a post request to the URL and pulling in the username and the repo from the, from the variables here using interpolation. Uh, we're going to post that. We are stringifying the issue, you know, for each issue. And then we're attaching some headers here, the content type and also the authorization header, and that includes my GitHub authorization token. Uh, so we're making that request, and then with the response, we're turning that into, back into JSON. And if the JSON status message is 201, which again, you know, going back to the docs, that was the response that we can expect to receive if it's been created. So if we have that response message of 201, we're going to log to the console issue created at json.status.location. Otherwise, if we get any other kind of response message, uh, I'm just console logging something went wrong, response, and then giving the, uh, the, the JSON response so I can take a look at the error message. So, and then right here, we're just calling the function and we're passing through file. And that's the file that's defined up here. So pretty straightforward, and it's just, you know, uh, run from the command. And I, I did have to do an npm init in order to create my package.json. And then, you know, I did install those packages. So you, you would need to run, you know, npm init and then npm install and node fetch and then .env in order to get those packages. So, um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and run this and hope that it works. So. And you can see I've been kind of, okay, so node and then create issue from json.js because that's the file name of our JavaScript. So let's see what happens. Okay, so that's good. So essentially, you can take a look here. 
this is the console log. So it says here something went wrong and then it has the response and it takes a look and see API tools. Okay, so it looks like I am getting a response that something was created. So I'm guessing I got some kind of response code, but it wasn't the 201. So maybe I would need to alter that because I does look like I am getting a positive response. So let's take a look at the actual GitHub and see if that worked. Now it did work earlier. Um, however, I was not using the environment variable. So that could be something that uh, might, be, might be tripping it up. But let's go ahead and see if those issues were created. So this is the empty uh, repository that I've created. And if we refresh, yes, we do. We have three new issues and test issues. And the labels came through, which is uh, in the test issue request, the JSON, I have the titles and then I have the labels. And I didn't add any assignees or descriptions or anything just for simplicity. But yeah, so now we have essentially this piece of reusable code that I can use to create multiple JSONs or I can add additional issues as I kind of realize things that I'm missing and I can update them all programmatically instead of, instead of having to click because um, as most of you probably know, creating issues manually in GitHub can be a little bit tedious. So thankfully this tool is available. I will be pushing this to GitHub. Uh, so, you know, the code will be available if anybody else would like to use it or if anybody would like to improve it in any way. I don't necessarily use Node uh, very often, but I've been trying to become more productive with my coding and develop some of these, these types of tools. Also open to any suggestions for other similar kind of productivity scripts. And thank you all for watching. I hope that was helpful.